Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? It's Richard Quo. This week, we're going to talk about shifting from, I can't do it. I just, I just can't do it. To, let's just do it. Let's just take action. So, the reason why this video is titled in this way instead of, uh, I can't do it to, I can do it is because oftentimes we spend so much time and energy thinking about, oh, I can't do it, versus, oh, I wish I can do it. I wish I could. When, what if it's not about, if you can or can do it? What if it's about just doing it? So oftentimes we have we have a lot of these emotions around like, oh, I, can't, I can't quit this bad habit, like video games or smoking or eating or drinking or whatever it is. Or sometimes we, we say, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't eat healthy or I can't do this, you know, I can't lose weight or whatever it is. And we're so busy focused on can I do it versus can I not do it? But the thing is, we really can do anything. You know, I, I know that sounds like a, cli- uh, a cheesy cliche, but it's true. Like, if we just focus on doing it, like, let's just do it. Let's, let's, just, let's just quit video games. Let's just quit this addiction. Let's just eat healthier. You know, let's just get straight A's. And, of course, I'm making it sound so easy when it, it's not easy. Trust me. I, I get it. It's not easy to break addictions, get straight A's, and achieve goals and things like that. All this stuff takes hard work. My point in saying let's just do it is this this idea, this mentality, if you keep it in the back of your head, is the idea of like let's not worry so much about what we feel and let's just focus on our vision. Like what, what do we want in our lives? We want to get straight A's? Let's just go for it. You know, let's let's take this negative energy that I'm, we're spending on our emotions, like, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. You know, this, this negative emotions we we expend on feeling feelings of self-doubt, take that energy and place it towards extra time to study. So, look, if you're watching this right now, which obviously you are, I'm not expecting you, and I wouldn't want you to expect yourself to be like, Oh yeah, let's let's do this. Let's let's just take action and take this negative energy and put it towards something positive and let's just do it, you know, and and it be correct. The purpose is you have a certain guideline now. You have this knowledge, this concept of, you know what, let's just do it. If if we want to do something, let's just do it. Now, this is the challenging part, and this is where many of us kind of give up, is we know sometimes we just need to take action, but we get discouraged because when we take action, we're like, okay, yeah, let's do this. We go for it, and all of a sudden, we, we hit a wall where we're like, oh, man, I don't feel like doing I can't do this. Okay, okay, come on, let's just do, come on, just push, just push ourselves just a little bit more. And then you go again, and that, that feeling of like, oh, I can't do it pops up again, like, oh, I, I, I want to go back to my old way. And of course, we want to go back to our old ways. That is, that's our comfort zone. And it's a perfectly natural feeling. There's nothing wrong with you if you ever feel like you want to go back to your comfort zone. Now, is that the best place to be? Usually not. Now, again, don't beat yourself up over it. It's okay to have that natural desire to want to be in that comfort zone. It's it's a survival mechanism, you know? <laughs> we do with what we're comfortable with. Now, but the thing that the challenge and the the issue, I believe with staying in our comfort zone is that we begin to start living in mediocrity. We start living this lifestyle that's like, eh, it's, it's okay. And, and then we're not truly happy. We're not truly making the most of our lives. So that's why it's important to, to push ourselves to, to that next level, to, to just expand ourselves and, and be proud of ourselves, you know? And I bet there's a hundred different ideas going through your mind right now as you're watching this video, or maybe you're just spacing off into something else and you know, you're, you're stressed out or whatever. But again, this video talking about shifting from I can't do it to let's just do it. Let's just not focus so much energy on the I can't do it. Now, here's what's going to happen. If, if you really want to start taking action and start doing things, what you get to do is build up that muscle over time. Build up that, hey, let's just do it. And then you do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. You do it over and over again. And look, chances are you're going to fail because we all do. You know, it's it's very natural. And now there, there's a small chance that you could just go like, boom, let's just do it. Let's do it 100%. Not going to quit. Not going to do it for anything. And that's that's people who have a vision. People who are, are so focused on like, oh, I know what I want to do. 
when you're so focused on what you want to do, you know, you don't give yourself excuses to, to give up. Now, if you're not focused and you don't understand that, that bigger picture, which is okay, like, okay, as in don't beat yourself up over it. There's no reason because when we beat ourselves up, that's just pushing ourselves down, putting ourselves down and putting us behind. Like we can't beat ourselves up over this. You know, it's, it's nothing personal to ourselves. It's, it's okay to feel human, to feel like a loser. <laughs> Sorry, to, to feel like, like we don't have our lives together. You know, that's, that's, that's life. That's part of being human. You know, I, I don't feel like I always have my life together and I don't always have my life together. A lot of celebrities, a lot of successful people don't always have their lives together. You know, Michael Phelps, um, you know, what, 24 medals now, Olympic medals, gold medals. Like he went into his own depression and he had what certain types of abuses, like substance abuse and things like that. Yet he's still successful at what he does. See, my point being is like, we all go into these little funks. We all have hardships, ups and downs in our lives. We all have that, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. You know, what's, what's the point? But if we shift, if we continue to keep pushing ourselves to shift and eventually we will maintain and build up that, that mental discipline. All right. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. And, uh, I just want to give you props if you made it this far. Um, I just, I want to say thank you to you for your dedication to yourself and your personal growth. Why? Because, uh, this is probably one of the most free flow, random, like, let's just keep talking and see where this goes video that I've made. Um, I just, I just want to try it out because it, it felt good. Um, and it feels good to try something new once in a while, even if it's less effective than doing like a straightforward three bullet points to shift from, I can't do it to let's just do it, you know, because I can think these things through and then give you in like a formulaic idea. But I think the value in this video right here is free flow, let it go and connect with my own personal feelings and emotions when I go through that same thing. So that's, that was the point of this. All right. Uh, thank you for watching and that's it. I love you all. And, um, you know, just keep going, keep going. Don't, don't give up. I know that's so cheesy and so cliche, but don't give up. Keep going. If you feel like you can't do something, I promise you that you can, that you just, you, you do need to believe in yourself. You know, you just, you gotta believe it's, it's there. It really is. You know, it's, <laughs> I, can, I can keep going on about this, but um, I'm going to stop. So if you need anything, just shoot me a, a message and I'll respond. Take care. Peace. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was supportive to you. And if you want more life advice or support answering those tough life questions, be sure to subscribe because I post every single Wednesday and Friday and soon enough Monday as well. Also, if you want to learn a little bit about my life, I, I vlog live at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every single day on Facebook. So check me out there. Love you all. Take care.